Hi, my name is Brian Loyola, and I'll be talking about the SWOT analysis, which is a way of analyzing any institutions or company strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. First off, I'll start with, with the strengths. Banking Knife is one of the largest financial institutions headquartered here in Florida. They have, they've uh, expanded in 13 counties and have over 80 branches spread throughout this state. Now that allows them to grasp a larger share of customers and clients. Therefore, uh, they have a large branch networking. Uh, they also started off with a large capital position, which allows them to give out more loans and grasp more clientele. As far as their weaknesses go, uh, they have to uh, reestablish their reputation name, and I believe that's something that's going to linger on for a while. You know, many people don't tend to do much research or investigate on a, on a bank, and that can be uh, misleading because many people will go back to the thought of Bank United being a, uh, a bank failure, in other words. So that could be a, a downfall towards them to grasping uh, new, new clients. So they have to regain the recognition. Uh, there are too few markets in certain areas of Florida, for example, uh, when I spoke to the head of the marketing department, uh, Melissa Gravy, she mentioned to me that, uh, for example, in Tampa, uh, they only have four branches, meaning that uh, you know there's still uh, uh, customers who have yet to be a, a part of Bank United. So that's uh, a weakness that, that she mentioned to me. Uh, as far as the opportunities go, uh, consolidation, meaning uh, they have the capabilities of acquiring, uh, banks in crisis, and uh, you know something that they're really looking forward to is small business lending. That's their main, that's their main target. Now, why is this uh, their main target? It is due to uh, there's not much competition here. Uh, there's a lot of financial regulators who are restricting many uh, financial institutions, uh, banks, from going into small business lending, and along with that are also a, uh, there's not enough capital in many of these banks to have the capabilities of lending these uh, sums of money. Uh, also, many markets are untouched. There's corners here and there in Florida that have yet to have a, a branch related to Bank United. Um, mentioned to me earlier was, um, Melissa said that Bank of America has yet to reach to these markets also, which gives them the opportunity to do so. As far as the threats go, uh, the economy, as you all know, is an ongoing threat because it's not only Bank United that has to deal with this hassle, but it's every other financial institution. The business community has yet to rebound, and real estate is still down, which uh, is not necessarily a threat, but something uh, that they can't necessarily add to their bond, to their loan portfolio due to the, due to the crisis, uh, which is why uh, they're focusing on small business lending. Uh, small business lending, uh, to a certain extent, people may think it, it's a little too risky, but they make sure of uh, the analysis of, of whoever they're, they're lending out to, uh, to avoid any sort of uh, default that the loan might go into. Um, with that, that being said, uh, Troy will now wrap up the presentation, so I'll pass it on to him.